Colors. Today I want to make another R shiny video for my series to uh, develop beautiful shiny applications using the R programming language and we will see how to create this uh, dashboard with uh, in particular how to make these two pages over here and you will see how you can create these little headers, a little text and how to go in this different pages which are technically uh, two different tabs because shiny applications are a single page uh, actually. So if uh, you want to get the code of this tutorial you can join my newsletter on felixanalytic.com and once you subscribe you will receive an automatic email from me uh, with the URL of my GitHub account where you can download all the script of this tutorial as well as my previous uh, videos. So uh, if you want to create a dashboard with multiple pages you will have to install Shiny if you haven't done it on the BS4 Dash package developed by uh, David Grandjean. Uh, shout out to him. Let's start with an empty skeleton and then I will directly dive into the example I previously showed you. So you have to run these two lines of code and uh, uh, let me show you first how this uh, empty skeleton looks like. So uh, that's what we will see here with an empty sidebar over here. So if you're not familiar with Shiny, with the UI, the user interface, the server side and the interaction between the two, uh, you can have a look at a previous video I made in this series Otherwise, uh, let's continue and here we will focus only on the user interface, which is what the user sees. And as you can see here, the server side, uh, which is where uh, the computer run code in the background, this is empty. So as you can see, uh, you will have to call first a dashboard page, which is a function for the BS4 dash package. And then in it, you have different arguments and for on each of these arguments, you just call a related function for the header, the sidebar. You can add also a control bar, which is a sidebar you can add on the right because usually it's on the left. I will not cover this in this video, but feel free to go on the documentation or the BS4 uh, dash R package and you will see example how to create this. We can add a footer, what we will see also how to do this, and the body is the main content of the page. So now let's start with a full example. Maybe I will run the code again so you can more easily see what uh, each part of the code does. And I want to focus once again on how to create these different uh, tabs or pages uh, and explain the intuition uh, behind uh, this. So first, let me show you quickly how to create this header. So you have the title. So this title here is what you see here in the uh, top of the uh, browser. So you have to call the dashboard header and this is the title you want to add. So here, this is the name of the package. Uh, you can choose the color. Primary is blue, is a default bootstrap uh, color. So this uh, BS4 dash package is allowing to access Bootstrap uh, 4 uh, CSS framework. So that's uh, a library that allows you to customize easily the look of your applications. So you can add a reference. If you click here, uh, you will directly, directly access uh, my website. And this is the link of my head. Uh, over here that I put also on my website. Skin light is to give it a light uh, theme, but if you click over here, you can also go on the dark theme. I think here the argument is dark and the status here is white. For the sidebar, you can call the uh, dashboard sidebar. Again, you can customize the skin, the status. So this is this blue color over here. Uh, so if I write uh, warning, for example, if you use warning, which is also a default color from Bootstrap, so you have uh, primary, secondary, warning, danger, information, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, a danger, you will have different colors, and by default here it's orange, danger, for example, is red, 
um, then you can, it allows you to customize uh, the colors from all your app. Just if you want to change uh, color, you just have to change uh, the warning color and then all your warning uh, colors on your app will be changed with the hardcoding color. Um, that's much better than hard coding the code. Hard coding, sorry, the color inside your app. Right, and now, uh, as you can see, you have a sidebar user panel uh, where you can also <clears throat> add an image if you want to. Here I said I don't want any image and you can add a little text. And finally, that's where I wanted to show you how to create these multiple uh, pages. So you can add a sidebar header uh, and call it header one. On here, you can give it a name, but here I want you to have a look. It's written item one over here for the tab name. On this type name, uh, and then you have an icon here that you can add, should correspond to the tab name of the tab item function, which is lower here in the body side, item one. And you have to have a correspondence here in uh, uh, the, the two uh, names. Same for item two, when you put it here, you will have to add a tab item over here. And as you can see also, that's also quite, uh, can be quite disturbing for uh, our users. You have functions that are nested into functions. And uh, why so? So in R, we don't have usually this. Uh, you call a function into an object, and then uh, you call this object in another uh, function. Um, so this is due to uh, the HTML structure, so this, uh, our code is actually writing uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code, which are the technologies uh, for the web. And in the HTML uh, structure, it's uh, like a tree with uh, different leaves uh, which are nested into each other. That's why here is a mimicking the HTML uh, structure, and uh, that's why you have functions that are called inside functions. You can then uh, add the footer here with the uh, dashboard footer function. You can choose to put it on the left, on the right. <clears throat> and here in the dashboard body, as we saw, you have to add the tab items first, then the tab item as the first one, and then you can add as many uh, tabs as you want. And insert box in it. So that's all what I wanted to show you for this video. Hopefully now you feel more comfortable creating a dashboard with a sidebar on the left by opposition to the shiny application. We have different uh, tabs on the top. On another video, I want to show you also how to customize these cards. Once again, if you want to uh, download this little code snippet, you can uh, join my newsletter on felixantic.com. And I want to thank you for watching and I see you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.